Hey guys, um, so I know I mentioned a couple videos ago about the people that take care of my channel set up a GoFundMe page. It's a, I, don't know, I guess you access it from the main page or something. I don't know nothing about it, but um, you know, it's kind of one of those things. They say that everybody has it now for. But, you know, it almost seems like you're begging for money. But, you know, I guess in the long run, these, this stuff does cost a little bit of money to maintain. But uh, the videos are going to be a little... I'm only going to be coming out once a week now. Because I know a few guys know what happened. But while I was up at the Thompson Fur Tables, I got a phone call and some local druggies or whatever they are burnt my lodge to the ground burnt my main building 90 year old log construction building that's you know the history in that thing is just unbelievable it was a, a fire base it was a military base um, they also burnt the my living quarters um, my office and another cabin that was attached to it um, that building used to be the school in Cormorant, uh, like 50 years ago or whenever. Um, you know, it just such a kick in the nuts. You know, I just took a, you know, I, I've been trying to sell the lodge for a while, but now, I mean, I got five cabins left standing. I don't have any hydro to them. I gotta try and get a hold of an electrician to find out what it's going to cost me to just at least get enough hydro to have those cabins that I can rent out to have some income for the summer. Um, but I'm going to be out looking for a full-time job and uh, I'll just have an employee up there taking care of it. If I do get those cabins running, I, they probably just... I'm. I doubt, I, I don't see how I can have it operational this summer, if at all, and I don't know what what the hell I'm going to do with it, but, you know, it's just so wonderful that a couple of drugged up kids can, uh, you know, basically just take your livelihood away and take your, you know, I mean, that was my retirement, that building, I mean, that was, when I sold it, that was going to be my retirement uh, fund, now I'm basically fucked anyways so I'm uh, you know I've been out online selling some of my collections of because any cash I did have put away is, has all got been sent back to people who had deposits for trips for the summer and uh You know, it just, uh, I don't even know how to ex very explain, but, you know, so I've been trying to sell my collections of uh, old magazines and books and, and selling a bunch of my hockey card collection. For those of you who didn't know, I collect hockey cards. That's what I've done since I was a kid. And, uh, but I'm going to... Also, when I do the fur run up north, you know, I've got a bunch of used motors. I got my can all the canoes, all that crap. Um, old older boats. Um, my spare snow machine. I guess I'll. I'm going to be selling that. Um, got a couple John boats. One 14 foot and then a beautiful 16 foot. They're all welded. The big one has a live well in it and everything too, but you know, it's a beautiful boat for up north on the marshes and stuff like that. So, if anybody, uh, anyway, I'm going to do another little short little video here in a sec, just to letting the people up north know that I'll have all that stuff available when I go up there if anybody is looking for anything. So, but yeah, anyways. That was, uh, you know, 
the Thompson fur tables were awesome, but when you get woke up three o'clock Friday morning with a phone call saying that your livelihood is gone, it's just uh, kind of dampens the spirits. But anyway, so now I can't, I don't got the cash to come pay for gas to come out here twice a week anymore so it'll be a one time a week thing and you know yeah the catches will obviously be a little bigger than they would be if I went twice a week but there won't be as many videos and I'm gonna get more of that fur like that fox you know eaten because it's been in the on the ground for six five six days whatever but anyways So I'm going to head out and uh, I'll catch everybody later.